The Denya River Combined School, at a ceremony held this week in celebration of 50 years of service to the community bearing its name, paid homage to several of its long-serving principals, teachers, and ancillary staff, including those who have passed on. Although the exact anniversary date is October 2, 2022, the institution found it necessary to engage the community in a week of activities to mark the milestone. The Denya River Combined School began its operations on October 2, 1972, with a student population of 180 under the supervision of Francilia Jackson as principal. Current principal of the Denya River Combined School, Anasia Jules, says the school is what it is today because of the hard work of Miss Jackson and her team. She was supposed to be here with us today, but because of her condition, She's unable, and she would have really been unable to sit here to last this period. But we took the time out as Denny Rivia combined, along with a team of teachers, past students, and we went to her house on Sunday. We spent some time with her, and we honored her. And she was indeed very, very pleased. Minister with Responsibility for Education and MP for Denry North, Honorable Sean Edward, decked out in the colors of his alma mater, expressed his gratitude for the strong foundation he received as a student of the institution. This is where it starts. Yes, I was able to get a secondary education. I went to university. I have a master's degree. All of these things um, are important, but we should never, ever forget where the foundation started. Who taught you letter formation? Who taught you how to write your name? Who taught you from very early to put a value on education? And that is what the Denaria Combined School has done admirably over the years and continues um, to do even on a day like today. Guest speaker for the activity, Dr. Aaron Ajuda, is a product of the Denaria Combine and the medical officer for the Denry District. He stressed on the importance of the role of the entire community in shaping the life of a child. And let us learn to attend to the needs of our community. We love our children, we take care of them, but there are children outside of our household. There are persons from our community that need something. Whether it is books, attention, finances, let us be able to extend that to them. Let us mentor these young persons. Let us advise them. When they're not well, let us visit them. Like, I want to visit them, bring something for them. Okay, let us look at these children like they are ours. Education officer for District 5, Jean Sherif, says the Denya Rivière Combined School has grown from leaps and bounds, creating much history for itself, which he says will serve the current generation well into the future. We recognize the success, we recognize what you have done to the people of the community. And when you look around, the success stories are numerous. The success stories are great. And so I want to employ those of you who are little ones and those of you on staff, that it is your responsibility now to carry that flag. It is your responsibility now to make greater things happen for this community and for the school. The school's principal, along with Education Minister Sean Edward, unveiled a plaque located at the front of the school in order to mark the milestone of the school's 50 years of existence. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Sackney reporting.